Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been what felt like pretty much forever since Tesla moved over to Tesla Vision for their rain sensing technology. A few years back, I now can't approximate how long that was, but Tesla moved over from the rain sensing sensor over to what they call Tesla Vision at this point to practically do everything that the car is doing with FSD. So pretty much from driving to covering the sensor suites of the missing radar to the ultrasonic sensors to the parking stack now is fully reliant on Tesla Vision. Now, if you aren't aware what Tesla Vision is, it isn't just a saying. It literally is the technology behind it. What Tesla is doing in the background with the neural net is what's processing all the data that's coming into the sensors. All that data gets fed back to the neural net and then the system tries to determine what to do in certain scenarios. Now, all of that has been great so far. The Tesla Vision has surpassed what the radar system was able to do in terms of phantom braking, in terms of autopilot system. But there are a couple scenarios that it didn't do so well and that has to do with the rain sensing technology. Now ever since Tesla moved away from the rain sensors which is present on practically every brand new car on the market today so it's a tried and true technology it's a really good and reliable piece of sensor. Now a lot of people had hesitation and frustration that a couple dollar piece of hardware had to be removed from the vehicle but if you look in Tesla's perspective taking a couple dollars off of a sensor on a vehicle times that by millions of vehicles it's going to be millions and millions of dollars so obviously what they did is they removed the rain sensor and just relies on the autopilot cameras the three cameras up top there with the hardware 3 package that allows it to sense what kind of conditions it's in now the difficulty with that is there is a lot of false negatives and the same thing goes for the phantom braking as well but let's just stick purely to the rain sensor today and that is the problem a lot of us are having now before all this Tesla Vision was actually okay because it was able to sense the rain and you could disable it even during the autopilot being enabled. Then a few years later Tesla decided to mesh the two system together. Now every single time you activate autopilot or FSD it's going to put the system into auto mode for the rain sensor. Now like I said the auto mode can be disabled when it does provide false negatives but up to this point now Tesla has removed that feature completely. That means that once you activate auto pilot you are no longer able to toggle the wiper system. So not that that's really a big issue because once it's in autopilot or full self driving it should be able to manage everything on its own and I think this is going to be the future of a full self driving package. You're not going to be able to touch any of the system while it's on this mode but as of right now when we're sort of in between of human and self driving we do need some kind of manual adjustments and this is where the rain sensor fails us in many many ways. So if you do have a Tesla right now now, go out and flick autopilot on and try to turn the auto wipers off. But anyways, it works 90% of the time and then the 10% of the time it goes sporadic, it wipes when it doesn't need to wipe and it doesn't wipe when it needs to wipe. So you'll notice that a lot of the times when you do activate on a perfect beautiful day, the wipers are just going to go crazy and it's just going to ruin your blades. I myself have a really crazy issue when things are activated for no reason, especially the windshield blades. Can you imagine going out buying a brand new windshield wiper and then it just go crazy and then about a week later your whole wiper blade is completely damaged. That is something I'm really frustrated about and this is why I typically don't even activate autopilot just for that reason alone. Now when it's in its moment, there are ways to get around this. I find that uh, turning off the vehicle turning back on or just rebooting the entire system does help in this scenario it does stay deactivated for a little while while on autopilot but as soon as it goes crazy again that's when you have to repeat the whole thing over and over so yeah enough of my rant here the thing has been solved or it's going to be solved Elon just gave us an update on what's happening and what was the reason that it's doing all this craziness so essentially regarding the neural net what it's been doing is using the eight cameras around the entire car to approximate the distance between between vehicles, how far they are, and all the other goodies with FSD. However, the very last thing it hasn't been able to do is track rain from all side cameras, meaning that at this point, at your current firmware right now, it's only using the front facing cameras to determine if there is rain or not. So in scenarios where this would fail is if there was a couple drops from somebody else's windshield spray that hit your front glass, but there is actually no rain at all, it would go crazy the entire time trying to get that portion of the autopilot camera to be clear. This is while the rest of the camera just sits there not tracking if there's rain or not. So the fact that Tesla is going to be implementing eight cameras to monitor
monitor, if there's rain all around it before turning on the wipers, it's going to be a big deal. So definitely it's going to remove a lot of the false and negatives here. It's not going to activate the windshield wipers unless all eight cameras can determine that there is rain on the roads and in the sky. And really, fingers crossed the Tesla is going to be able to allow us to manually disable auto wipers for whatever reason until the very point that the vehicle is able to fully self-drive. I think we should get some kind of manual control over the convenience feature. But yeah, you guys should be extremely excited for this because I know I'm not the only one that has to deal with this. Everyone that owns a vehicle in the past five, six years are dealing with this issue today. So it's going to be rectified in the next couple software updates. I'm hoping the next one is going to be it. But Tesla is going to be using the neural net and all the eight surrounding cameras to determine if there's inclement weather. So anyways, this is just a short little update on this topic. I will be covering a lot more Tesla related detail on Project Highland, Project Juniper and Hardware 4. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. This is John. This is it. Once again, peace out.